Hello, and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble. About what? Eh, about anything and everything. So, welcome to episode one of this video series. What is it exactly? Eh, I guess it's a vlog, and, uh, in a sense. Why do I want to do this? Well... I'm a few years away from the age of 50, and I don't know how much longer I've got left on this earth. I mean, none of us really know how, how long we've got on here, but uh, I'd like to have something that I can pass on to my posterity, uh, a piece of myself. But not only that, um, I like to talk, I like to have conversations with people, and people like you. And there are people all over the world that share, you know, different viewpoints and opinions. And I think it's just interesting just talking with people and sharing ideas and and uh, thoughts and stuff like that. Um, points of view. I think it's uh, I think it's interesting. We may not agree on certain things, but that doesn't mean that we can't have an interesting conversation. So. With that in mind, let's talk about Star Wars, because everyone seems to be talking about Star Wars these days, and quite specifically, they're talking about Solo, um, and also Episode 8 and 9, so 8 being The Last Jedi and 9 being, um, who cares? Guess, I guess you know where I'm going with this, right? So, just to kind of let you know, this is a this is a family friendly type of setting, um, if you consider a car a family friendly setting. But no, what I mean by that is that um, you never know what you're going to get on certain videos. You know, you kind of go on a video and you're like, oh, this is kind of good, and then they drop an f bomb, um, you know, and you're watching with your kids and you're like, really? So, just kind of want to throw that out there that uh, that you can share this with uh, your friends and your family and your little ones. Um, and that's cool. I'm not gonna you know sit there and and drop a bunch of f bombs and stuff. I just me personally, I don't think it's cool. But but yeah, see, I'm already getting into the whole rambling thing. So see, I named my show perfectly. Anyway, so episode nine, um, I will talk about Solo. I haven't seen it. Um, I do plan to see it, not in the main uh, theater. Uh, I'll go see it like at the dollar theater because I don't want to pay full price for it because uh, I overpaid for The Last Jedi. How's that? And went and saw it at IMAX and 3D. And although I came out of that movie... Um, kind of like, huh, well, I don't know if this is as bad as that, because I was seeing videos that were saying, um, oh, Star Wars is ruined, blah, 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 and I'm like, what is that all about? But I went and saw it, and uh, when it, not when it first came out, it was, I think I saw it in January, but went and saw it and came out of it, and I was like, you know, it was kind of like a roller coaster ride. You know, you, you're on it, and you're kind of like, you've got those ups and downs, and you're you you're just kind of like, wow, mm, yeah, this this is fun. And then after you walk away from the roller coaster, uh, sometimes you kind of feel a little ill, uh, a little queasy, and you're beginning to wonder what what the heck ride was that that I went on. Well, that's how it was with the Last Jedi, for me. Um. You know, looking back on some of that and and seeing bits of humor in there that just wasn't really appropriate for Star Wars. Um, 
let's say, uh, like the part towards the beginning where, um, was it Huxley, Huckleberry, whatever his name is, um, Poe calls him and says, oh, will you hold please and all this other, you know, or waiting or, you know, whatever it was. That was like so out of place for Star Wars. For Ga Guardians of the Galaxy, it would have fit, but Star Wars? No. I mean, come on. Imagine if someone was putting Vader on hold. He would put a hold on them with his, his, uh, his choke grip. Um... And there's just some other things in that movie that just, like, killing Snoke off, that, that was dumb. Um, and all this is going to lead into what I want to talk about in regards to Episode Nine. so I'm just kind of leading up to that. I'm rambling, you know, hey, that's what my show is called. Um, there's the whole milk drinking scene with Luke, which is just... Really? You know, I mean, we're going to degrade Luke like this? Um, Leia flying through space. I wasn't sure what to think when I first saw that. My first thought was like, oh, she's using the force. And at the same, and at the same time, I'm looking at, going, why does this look so weird? <laughs> it wasn't until later that I saw people say that. It was like Mary Poppins in space. I'm like, mm, yeah, it sure did look like it. Um, the, I'm on the fence about uh, Luke and wanting to kill his nephew. You have Kylo Ren's point of view, which I must say I liked Kylo Ren a lot better in The Last Jedi than I did in The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens, I thought Kylo Ren was just a whiny little snobby uh <laughs> brat um uh, with a temper tantrum who was a wannabe vader that's how i saw him in the force awakens but in last jedi um when snoke told him told, told him to take off that helmet and and he bashed it that to me was like okay finally let's shed the shadow that he's got and have Kylo come into his own, his his own type of character. And I thought he got a lot more interesting because of it. Um, and also later, when he was giving his whole speech about let the past die, kill it if you have to. Um, what I started to find interesting about him is that he didn't really consider himself a Sith or a Jedi. Just kind of like, hey, I've got the Force, and there's a whole bunch of disorder in this galaxy, and by golly, I'm going to fix it. So if that means, you know, it's like the hell with the Jedi and the heck with uh, the Sith. Um, I'm going to do it my own way. I'll start my own thing. We'll call it the, the Knights of Ren. <laughs> that just came to my head. Um That movie had so many possibilities, so many opportunities, and it just blew it. It just blew it. I mean, the the, I mean, Ray is obviously uh, a Mary Sue. Uh, I know some people will argue with that. I know people watching this video will probably argue with that, and that's fine. That's cool. Hey, you know, that's why we're here. We're we're here to have a conversation. Um, in my opinion, Ray has is just too perfect there there's no character arc arc with her i mean she was t incredibly talented and gifted at the beginning of the force awakens and she's like still the same after um the last jedi so i'm not really seeing a character arc she's already fought and, and uh pretty much beat kylo ren so and she can fly the millennium falcon like a champ I mean, who honestly, I mean, let, <laughs> realistically speaking, who can honestly go into a cockpit like that and know exactly what, what switches to flip? I mean, maybe I'm just not very talented, but if I were to go inside of a, a cockpit of a 
47, you know, airliner. I, and I love, I love airplanes. Um, I wish I was a pilot. I wish I could fly. It, way too expensive to get a license. That's why flight simulator is cool. But if I were to go into a, a cockpit, I mean, I would love it. I mean, like, oh, wow, this is really cool. But I wouldn't know the first thing of what the, what, what the switch, what the flip. I mean, there'd be so many buttons and knobs. It'd be like, um, <laughs> like Airplane 2 <laughs> with, uh, with William Shatner is like, there's all these lights and they're all beeping and driving me crazy. But, uh, Airplane and Airplane 2, love classics. But, yeah, she goes in there and she can um, fly that ship like a pro. Come on. Can't be that easy. That's a huge ship. I mean, maybe a one-man fighter. I could see that. But a ship like the Millennium Falcon? Nah. I just don't believe that. But yeah, there's no there's no character arc, no character growth. And you know, as far as Luke and and wanting to um kill his nephew, I'm on the fence about that because I can see where he might want to do that because he's seeing the the pain that that his nephew is going to cause and maybe the only solution is to terminate his life but he couldn't get himself to do it which that right there is that's luke right there i mean it wouldn't be luke if he struck him down it was definitely luke skywalker to take pity on on his nephew and then as a result of his um not stopping kylo ren when he had the chance it put him into a depression and caused him to go into exile. So I get that. I, I understand that part of the movie. And I just, I think, I think with the way that they ended episode eight was just not right. It was way too soon. There needed to be something more to drag into, to, to pull into episode nine. Um, and, well, let's jump into episode nine as we're talking about it. What is there to look forward to? I mean, really, I'm not excited about episode nine. I don't know very many people that are excited about, um, episode nine of Star Wars. I mean, what is there to look forward to? Um... This is the Skywalker saga, so obviously the, the, the third trilogy is about Kylo Ren, because he's the Skywalker. I don't think it's about Rey, although, you know, it seems to be like Rey, but, it's, you know, it's not. I mean, what what exactly are they going to do in Episode Nine? What's the draw to it? Um, I don't know what it is. The redemption of Kylo Ren? <sighs> Boring. I mean, that's been done before, right? Vader. Um... We know Luke's not going to be back. Maybe he'll be back, but and there's videos stating that you know Mark Hamill's done. Um, you know, are they going to bring Snoke back and just say, "Oh, that was a clone that was sliced in half"? I mean, that's cheap. That's like a that's like a cheap way out of uh out of you know it's kind of like oh that didn't really happen. That was kind of like you know Dallas and uh, like uh, Bobby dying and then. For a year, they didn't have Bobby, and then the year after that, it's like, oh, it was just a dream or something. <laughs> I mean, bringing Snoke back for Episode Nine would be just like that, you know? It's like, oh, that wasn't really Snoke; that was a, um, <laughs> that was a clone. And that, 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 that's cheap. Um, there's news that uh, Rose Tico is going to have a bigger part. Oh, joy. Now, there's an interesting character. I don't, I don't even know what the purpose of that, that character was. Oh, the lights went out. Hey, that's not cool. Turn those back on. Oh, they don't want to go back on. <laughs> we'll just turn the power of the, of the car back on. Okay, you can stop dinging now. 
Thank you. He's like, you don't have your seatbelt on. All right. It's also getting hot in here, too. Um, in case you're wondering why I'm in this car recording this video, it's because uh, my wife has a... Um, she a, has a dinner meeting for work. So, figured, ah, well, she needed me to drive her. Um, figured this would be a good time to record my vlog. So, and do some rambling. Because, rambling, why not? Where were we? Episode 9. So, yeah, Rose Tico is supposed to get a bigger part. Yay! Consider my, uh... Enthusiasm bigger as well. Not. <laughs> Man. And you know Disney and Lucasfilm are looking at people's reactions. They're looking at your criticisms. But they don't want to admit that they're wrong. At all. They don't want to admit they're wrong. They know there. They know there's not a lot of people that look like Rose Tico, um, and I don't know if this is true, but you know, they talk saying that the reason why they have her in there, you know, the whole I identity politics and all that other stuff, is to try to um, get attention from the Chinese market. Well, that didn't really work very well, did it? So. Is there really a purpose to have Rose Tico in the films? It's not like she's a really interesting character. Um, so would they kill her off? No. Maybe towards the end. But no, they're, they're going to give her a much bigger part, even though nobody's really interested. Maybe she'll go to the dark side. Then I might be interested. Which is what I thought might have happened with episode 8 with Ray. When she went, I mean, she's like tempted by the dark side. She goes into that hole. There's someone parking next to me. Why? <laughs> and I really thought that when she was with Kylo Ren, that she was going to be tempted and go to the dark side. And then Luke or Finn or Poe would be struggling in episode 9 to bring her back. That, I think, would have been interesting. And that would have been an interesting character arc for her. But did they? No, they didn't. Ray can't go evil. She's too perfect. Missed opportunity. Total missed opportunity. And even then, I almost thought that maybe if she had gone dark, that Kylo Ren might have started having second thoughts and may have started to reclaim his identity as Ben Solo. So things might have switched and then in episode 9 it was kind of like a coming together you know, to fight off the New Order you know, or Empire 2.0. So, missed opportunity. I mean, do something like that, that would have gotten my attention. That would have been something to kind of look forward to in episode 9. But no, it's, it's like they wrap everything up in episode 8. And you're kind of like looking like, okay, what's next? <laughs> so, and there's an article about this bigger part uh, for Rose Tico. And I'll put it into the, uh, into the description below so you can take a look at it. Um, in there, they're also saying that they're going to be introducing... Uh, new characters. You're going to introduce new characters in a third part of a trilogy. What? That makes no sense at all. You think about the other other trilogies in the past of Star Wars. Um, can you think of any characters that were real that really mattered that were introduced in the third part? I mean, okay, Return of the Jedi, there's Jabba, but he wasn't really introduced. He was talked about. And you saw him, finally, in Return of the Jedi. So I wouldn't really call that an introduction. Um, and, okay, yeah, you know, Bib Fortuna was, was a new character. 
But it's not like he was a major character or anything like that, or even a supporting one. He was just kind of, um, you know, just a background character, sort of. But, you know, any major characters? No, not, not that I can think of. Um, you know, it's the first time that you see the Emperor, uh, not counting the hologram thing, but you've heard about him. You, you've heard about the Emperor, you know, and, and, and four and five, and then you finally got to see him in six. So, you know, and they're talking about introduce. You, you don't introduce new characters in the third part of a trilogy. That doesn't make any sense. So I'm thinking, how can we possibly do an episode nine and wrap things up to where it's actually, you know, you actually look over it all and you're like, okay, that actually turned out pretty good. See, because The Force Awakens, it was okay. It was a fun movie, but it was just Star Wars all over again. When I, I'm, okay, I'm old, all right? Star Wars to me is episode four. I just call it Star Wars. Um, it had some new things in there, but mainly it was just a remake. I get it. I know why they did that. Because they wanted to do something familiar to get everyone excited about Star Wars again. They didn't want to take a chance with something new that people might like, eh, may or may not like. Um, imagine if they did something like The Last Jedi for Episode 7. Well, that would have gone over well. So, no, I get it. I know why they did what they did. Um, it has not encouraged me to want to watch Episode 7 again. However, I was really looking forward to Episode 8 and Luke Skywalker. Who wasn't? Seriously, who was not looking forward to Episode 8 and Luke Skywalker? Did anyone wa want to watch? Well, Rose Tico wasn't, wasn't there yet. But was anyone? did anyone want to go to Episode 8 because, oh, I want to see more of Rey. Oh, I want to see more of Finn. And I actually liked Finn in Episode 7. And then Episode 8, it was like they turned him into Banther fodder or something. Banther fodder. <laughs> this character just made completely worthless. I mean, why? Um, I was really hoping that Episode 8 would uh, build upon Episode 7. Because if it had, I would have bought episode 7 on Blu-ray. And it didn't. So I'm like, well, I still don't want episode 7. And I sure as heck don't want episode 8 either. So, and episode 9, how are they going to wrap this up in one movie? In one movie with new characters? I don't see how that's possible. It's too much of a mess, which is why um, the title of this video is in regards to an episode nine two-parter. The only way to really fix this is if they did what they, if they do what they did on Solo, where they fired the original directors, which they shouldn't have done, um, and hire uh, a new director. So in other words, well, episode eight is already out. But if they were to say, okay, you know what? Episode eight is not working. So they hire someone new. Let's say J.J. Abrams, okay? J.J. Abrams did seven. And, you know, I'm, he's got an overall arc, I think, <laughs> idea of how things are supposed to go. What if they were just to say, all right, you know what? Go ahead and take episode eight. Do what it was that you were originally thinking about doing. Um, shoot some new scenes. And then take those scenes and re-edit them with what's already been done. So you don't have to redo episode eight all completely. But just redo things and utilize what's there also and make it better get rid of the whole uh, casino stuff that that should have been like one of those deleted scenes is what it should have been you know that wound up on the cutting room floor no way that should have been in the movie uh, maybe the extended version but definitely not the theatrical version 
So there's that option, which we know Disney's not going to, they're not going to do it. They're not going to admit that they were wrong about episode eight. They won't. So, episode nine. If they were to turn it into a two-part episode, they might be able to wrap things up in a very decent way. I know what you're thinking. It's like, wait, two more movies? Wouldn't that be episode nine and episode ten? The reason why I say a two-parter is the last Harry Potter movie, the last Twilight movie, which I didn't watch. <laughs> Any of them. <laughs> I read the first and second and third books. Actually, I read the first and second book, and then I listened to the audio audio tape or um, CD or whatever of the, of the third one because I was kind of like half paying attention to it. And I only did that because where I was working at the time, I just wanted to be able to kind of uh, have conversations with people because it was all everyone was talking about Twilight at the time, so I just kind of wanted to know what it was they were talking about, so that way I could kind of jump in in the conversation here and there. But uh, that's kind of like what I mean, you know. It's they take the last movie, but then they split it into two parts, and so I can see a possibility of Episode Nine being Part One and Part Two. Um, especially if they want to stretch it out a little bit more. I mean, I see it as a possibility. Will they do it? Who knows? We already know that with the box office uh, failure of Solo, uh, Disney has come out. I'm going to turn down the air conditioner here. Um, that Disney is saying that they have to rethink things. So maybe that means they're going to rethink episode nine. Maybe spend more time on it. Maybe realize, okay, this, we need to work more on this script. And maybe the script, in order for it to be successful, is too long for one movie and they have to split it up. I think it's a possibility. Not a very strong possibility. I think I'm, you know, maybe reaching a little bit. Um, but anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, I have no idea how long this video has been going. Uh, <clears throat> if I had, uh, my phone turned around the other way, I'd be able to tell. You know, that's why I'm recording this on is my phone. My Galaxy S8 Plus. Oh, I love, I love the Galaxy. I love Samsung Galaxy. Now all the, uh, Apple iPhone lovers are going to hate me. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, you love your phones. I love my phone. Um, that'll be for another video or something, right? But anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, I am interested in what you think. Uh, what I'd really be interested in, um, in the comments, is if you can tell me what you think can be done to fix episode. Okay, well, there is no episode nine yet, but basically to fix Star Wars. If if you had the chance to direct Star Wars episode nine and changing episode eight was not an option, but you were given the opportunity to film the last part of the trilogy, what would you do? I know some of you are going to say, I'd kill everyone, <laughs> Ray, and <laughs> get rid of all, all of them. Um, no, seriously, what would you do? What, what story possibilities do you have that would wrap things up and maybe leave things open for more future movies? What would you do? I'm really interested because I, I personally, I can't think of anything. I really can't think of anything. Ep the only thing I can see is that if episode 9 was to almost be like a pilot um, for a whole new trilogy, which I hope is not the Ryan Johnson trilogy, 
they really need to rethink things. The fans aren't aren't liking, but you know, whatever, whatever Disney Lucasfilm, you know, whatever you want to do. If you got to learn things the hard way, you're going to learn them the hard way. Um, but anyway, I'm interested in what you think uh, could make Episode Nine better. Well, better, a better movie than whatever they're planning. I can't imagine that they're planning anything good. But anyway, I'm 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 interested. So share your thoughts in the comments below. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this off right now before I ramble on for the next four hours. Nobody wants to watch someone rambling for four hours. <laughs> but anyway, appreciate it. Appreciate your time. Appreciate you uh, checking this out. And uh, love to have a conversation with you. So leave some comments for me. Um, if you like the video, Hey, hit the like button. If you don't, that's okay. I still like you. <laughs> um, and subscribe, you know, if you want. If you want to uh, get notifications on any more videos. But I appreciate you. appreciate you giving me the uh, time to talk. And I'm interested in what you guys have to say. So, until the next video. See ya.